What caught me the most as I heard your story was the thought of, of your two kids. Your children will copy what you do. Why shouldn't they? Exactly. All exactly. of our kids copy what we do, yeah, which is one of the most com compelling reasons for us to do the right thing. So I, I need to have you look to people that you love who've been your back that. And apathy is a word I heard, given up, same thing, but pretty much. I'm hearing these words and they scare me. Yeah. Because when people give up on themselves, when their heart doesn't have a reason to keep beating, it stops. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, the hardest thing to hear about is um, how I've hurt those people. Tell, tell, tell the way. Tell your mom. Tell Todd. I feel like I've said I'm sorry too many times, and I want to say it, but I know that the best way that I can show you that I am truly sorry is by building a history of success mm -hmm. longer than my history of failure. For someone who's been addicted as long as Stacy has, she needs inpatient <laughs> treatment at a facility that's gifted at this. But we also recognize that with the extra challenge of kids, we've got to create a program that's customized to that. So, Stacy, you're the prime caretaker for two young children. And I want you to meet Rebecca Flood, who's joining us today. Rebecca is a mom of six, so she knows what being a mom's about. Uh, she, but she's also been in recovery for 34 years. Uh, she's executive director of New Directions for Women, a treatment center that rehabilitates mothers with their children. Rebecca, you've, you've been listening to Stacy's story, mm -hmm. and I would love to hear you offer thoughts on what, what, the, what the greatest challenge that Stacy will face as she tries to beat this. I think one of the greatest challenges that all women entering recovery face are the relationships that need to heal. And one of the greatest reasons why we bring children into treatment with their moms is so that relationship can begin to heal. Mm -hmm. And that relationship that begins to heal can continue healing as they leave treatment and rejoin their loved ones. And Rebecca's program will take the kids with you. So there's a van outside waiting for you right now. You can take the kids with you, you can go to the airport, and you're going to enter this treatment program. But you've got to be willing to do it. You've got to be willing to say, I'm there. This is the last time we're going to make this happen. I'm there. This is the last time. I, th I'm there. I'm there. All right. You can say goodbye to your family walk you out. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.